to our largest growth engine, the oil to chemicals business. A few years ago, we undertook a strategic restructuring of our refining and chemical segment, merging them into an integrated oil to chemicals business. This pivotal move has significantly enhanced our operational excellence, fortified our supply chain, and ensured resilient financial performance in an industry highly vulnerable to its volatility and cyclical nature. Over the past year, we faced a complex global landscape characterized by geopolitical conflicts and weak economic growth in Western countries, leading to subdued demand. On the supply side, large-scale capacity additions, particularly in China, created a surplus, causing significant fluctuations in fuel and downstream chemical margins, with some dropping to multi-year lows. Despite these challenges, I am pleased to report that Reliance navigated through the headwinds to deliver industry-leading performance. The O2C business achieved revenues of 5,64,749 crores and an EBITDA of Rs. 62,393 crores last year. This robust performance was made possible through several key actions. Let me highlight a few. First, we maintained our sharp focus on operational excellence. Our manufacturing assets operated at their maximum capacity with our gasification units contributing significantly through stable operations and higher throughput. Second, we made sustained efforts to source advantageous feedstock from diverse and complex geographies in a challenging environment. Our diversification efforts led to processing 60 grades of crude oil, including 30 new crude oil grades. Third, freight markets skyrocketed due to geopolitical factors with vessels coming under missile attacks in the Red Sea. We acted swiftly to control our freight costs, chartering more vessels on a long-term basis. Fourth, strong domestic demand for fuels and downstream chemicals helped improve product placement in the domestic market. Fifth, we continued to build our deep tech and advanced manufacturing competencies. We are pioneers in using AI-powered real-time optimization across our supply chain and advanced crude oil and feedstock characterization, all of which drive increased profitability. In the area of polymers, we produce new grades for plastic fuel tanks, making them safer and lighter, leading to lower fuel consumption in vehicles. In chemicals, we commissioned a new column to enhance our capacity of ethylene oxide by 45,000 tons per annum, increasing our capacity by 15% and increasing profitability. In polyester, we integrated polyester capacities through strategic acquisition, making us among the top spinners in the country and completing the only missing element in our textiles value chain. Reliance is now the largest producer of specialty fibers in India with applications in mobility, home furnishing, and industrial uses. Friends, India's consumption of petrochemicals and polyester is expected to exhibit healthy growth across sectors such as consumer goods, infrastructure, automotive packaging, and agriculture, driven by the rapid expansion of our domestic manufacturing base. To meet this growing demand, we are adding capacities across both existing and new chemical value chains. Our new integrated facilities in the vinyl value chain will add one and a half million tons per annum of PVC and CPVC at the Hedge and Nagotne by the year 26-27. We are also adding a million tons of specialty polyester capacity by the year 26-27, which will be further integrated backwards with a 3 million ton PTA capacity by 2027. As demand for traditional polymers continues to grow, India will also require new and versatile materials. Reliance is building India's first world-class integrated carbon fiber plant at Hazira, which will rank among the top three units globally. We continue to expand our portfolio of composites of carbon fiber 
for use in the infrastructure sector. In addition to expanding capacities and developing new materials, we remain focused on enhancing our global feedstock sourcing and improving our supply chain. We are adding three more very large ethane carriers to our existing fleet of six ethane carriers used for sourcing ethane from North America. Dear shareholders, sustainability continues to be a key element in our O2C business. We are accelerating the use of renewable energy and are well on our way to becoming one of the largest users of renewable energy in India. Additionally, Reliance is making significant progress on various sustainability initiatives, including PET recycling, chemical recycling of plastics to produce pyrolysis oil, polyolefin recycling, conversion of hazardous waste into alternative fuels and raw materials, and the development of zero waste. Reliance already recycles over 2 billion PET bottles in India and is on track to reach a capacity of 5 billion bottles per annum by next year. In summary, I would like to reiterate that our oil to chemical business continues to be a robust growth engine, steadily enhancing its financial performance for a long time to come. We are actively investing in new capacities and capabilities to meet the demand growth in India. Dear shareholders, 